Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dolly Cam. This is so exciting because the people that I am going to interview next are Ruby Lane shop owners and we have never done an interview with them. It's their first time in the Dolly Cam. You're about to meet Patricia and Kevin from Mostly French and they have fabulous dolls. So we're gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna chat dolls. Good morning, well afternoon. Good this afternoon. show's been going fast. Yep. Patricia and Kevin, tell us about your doll experience and and what you guys do well we like to collect unusual items it, it's all right she's doing it she's doing an uh, an inner um, we're live yes an intercom thing we're live so we're just going to look at the booth and then we're going to chat with with pat and, and uh kevin your dolls are phenomenal every time we see something listed from mostly french we we mostly faint because they're they're just always fabulous. So how did you get into doll collecting, Pat? Oh, back in the 80s. Uh, yeah. I found a, a Barbie doll at a garage sale, and after that it kept growing, and I've always gravitated towards the French dolls um, because they have uh, the best, the good modeling with their mm -hmm. artistry and, and anything unusual. That's what I like, French faces and unusual items. Um, so we have a little bit of eclectic you know some jewelry and but I, I do like the early French you know uh, FG black letter Look at FG that. on her original loose eight ball body um, in excellent condition so your and cute boyfriend Kevin he's over here I wanted to ask him Kevin did you know uh, that you would be doing dolls when you grew up <laughs> I did not that was the last thing I thought I'd be doing I had a GI yeah. Joe once and I burned him at the stake so that happens yeah it does but uh, meeting pat and knowing this was her passion mm -hmm. uh, meant it was going to be mine and uh, i would love to you know i get to do mechanical repairs and assist in things that mm -hmm. are within my range which is cabinet making and craftsman um, rebuilding of, of items that are damaged i have a carousel here that i did some work on i'd love to show it to you sure let's take a look um it's a French carousel. Oh my gosh. How fabulous. And so you fixed this. This is a uh, number of, uh, of aesthetic damage to it that we were able to take care of. And Pat redressed the dolls. Oh my gosh. And uh, the mechanism was cleaned. And, <gasps> uh, and this is what we have. And it's very rare. Uh, we've never, Pat's never seen one in her 18 plus years. Well, Pat, when is it going to be listed on Ruby Lane? Oh, yeah. We're Hopefully, hoping uh, soon. If it doesn't sell, you know, right. it'll be up there soon. And you guys can also email Pat through her Ruby Lane shop and inquire about this wonderful mechanical. And this one, um, it hasn't been advertised yet. It was from a little country auction. Look at that outfit. She's a transitional brew. Yeah, it's an antique outfit. Oh, my gosh. She's, um got a Rougeon R head on an early Chevrette body and um, so but she has the face of a Rougeon and, and is that why you uh, say she's transitional? Yes, because it's um, mm -hmm. We always like to kind of explain these kind of things because our, our viewers, once they learn, it's just so um, fascinating for them. You also have some wonderful clothing. Yes. got all kinds, uh, antique and fun. An artist made and a little um all this presentation. Oh, how great. And everybody loves the little lambs. Oh yeah, the lambs are wonderful. And some more dresses and outfits. Then we got a uh, French fashion. With Ooh her, la la. Her um, antique clothes with the original and antique clothes. So she is coming with and a trousseau art, and clothing. Yes, articulated fist arm. Look at that. And this is a, a nice showstopper here. This is an adult face portrait Jamal in excellent condition. Oh, she's just incredible. Bisque. Beautiful uh, modeling. Pale Wonderful bisque, lips. Bisque, mm -hmm. yeah. Pale bisque, yep. She has those applied ears. Yeah, she's amazing. Oh, I love those applied ears. Oh, and that face is incredible. Look at that. Yeah. She's Wonderful. And this is the FG Black early. She's new. She hasn't been um, released yet. Ruby Lane or anywhere else. Anywhere else. You saved some goodies for the show for yeah, sure. Well, sure. our viewers are definitely shopping right now. Shopping in the booth of Mostly French. We're here live with Kevin and Pat and they are uh, here and it is just wonderful to see their booth. 
And we Look have, at these um, like, accessories that you have. Some seamstresses that are working. Uh, she making... looks like a German character. Yeah, this is a German uh, Kessner 180. Oh, she's great. Yeah. And she's... Uh... What about the dress you have? Oh, that's, um, yeah, we have a seamstress that's making some dresses, starting to make a few um, out of antique materials. Wonderful. Yeah, she's really good. And then uh, get the long face Jamotris. That is a bucket list doll for many, many, many people. Yeah, and every collector likes the long the face. Door. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just some wonderful, wonderful delights. If you would like to ask Pat any questions, you can do so through her Ruby Lane shop. She is mostly French on Ruby Lane. There is her right there. So, Pat and Kevin, what, what is the next thing on the on the list for you two? Well, we might be at the Toledo show. Okay. Um, and then Gaithersburg. And um, always be looking to try to get affordable French rare dolls and unusual items you know that are different mm -hmm. because it's fun to buy and collect you know french dolls and unusual items oh my gosh it's the best isn't it yeah yeah and that's Kevin, why we do it yes you gotta really right. love it you've got to really love it because this is not yes. like easy right yeah i mean no, this is it's it's laborious to yeah. come and to do a show and to bring it and pack it and unpack it and then pack it again yeah, you gotta love what you sell, yeah so. exactly well it's nice to have a partner product. Yeah. And I'll tell you, men will eventually come around to this because they're as beautiful as uh, my friend here. And you come to appreciate the artistry that is involved in all the, you know, in the craftsmanship and the history that produces these dolls over 100 years ago and keeps them uh, interesting and alive today. Yeah, yeah, and I just love what you said, Kevin, because I was just about to ask you that as a carpenter and somebody that works with, you know, that does a lot of artistry and you work with your hands, you can appreciate the artists that, that made these and put these together yeah. themselves 100 and 200 years ago. Yeah, certainly, yeah. certainly. Especially the articulated arms and legs. Right. It's really unusual how they're able to, without springs and, and other and elastic. Uh -huh. Without any of that, they were able, they were able to create to uh, these um, to get the same result. Right, um, exactly. Well, it's wonderful to hear that from a man because, from a man's perspective, really, doll collecting is very. And Andy Orange just gave a program last night, and he is a wonderful doll collector and toy enthusiast. And, the office. And yeah, right. wasn't yeah. that great? Yeah, so I love really, the, the, the world of dolls is for everybody because it's so multifaceted. Yeah, we're. I'm grateful to be a part of it now. Yes, I, it was the last thing I think I would have thought of right. ever happening, but yeah. it's a great thing. Really great. Yeah. Well, that is Pat and Kevin. They are wonderful shop owners and friends of Ruby Lane, and this is their booth. Feel free to inquire if you see anything on this table that you have to have. I see some beautiful shoes that are only $75 right there. I would be snapping those up if I were you. We will link to her shop. She is always listing wonderful things. Yeah, there'll always be new stuff. We're you do. Trying to find new stuff. And We're always seeing you in new arrivals. You yeah. do a great job. We'll be putting up some soon yeah. when we uh, get back home. When you get back, back home. home to Chicago. And we enjoy uh, selling on Ruby Lane because it really is, so is easy for me. I'm not a computer person. And, right. Uh, it's easy to function. Yeah, in. they make it user friendly for both customer and seller. Well, thank you so much for telling us that. It's really important. So thank you. We appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Thanks, show. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate right. your time. Bye. Bye.